everyone, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I'm gonna to show you eight different activities that you could do to teach US coins to children in around kindergarten, first grade level. So um, these activities come from my early learners math curriculum. They come from unit 10. Unit 10 is all about US money. Um, I will leave links below to everything if you're interested, but let's get right into it. So the first activity center is coin match and cover. So what the kids are going to do is um, there are three different types of um, cards that it comes with. The first type, they take the card and they read the, the word. It says penny and they have to cover up all of the pennies. Now you can use any kind of manipulative you want. You might want to use erasers. Um, maybe you want to use little, these are pom-poms with magnets on the back, whatever you have laying around to use as manipulatives. They're going to take the manipulative and cover up their answers. So I'm going to cover up all of the pennies on this card. Okay, then they would take the next one. This one says nickel. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up all the nickels. Now, um, one of the things on this one is there are some that have the back of the coin, obviously. So they would have to know what the back of a nickel looks like as well and cover that up. So it's got the front and the back. And so this one is recognizing different coins by looking at them and um, knowing their name. All right, the next set looks like this. They're given the picture of the coin and then they have to cover up all of the ones that match the amount, okay? So um, the value of the coin. So I see a quarter here, so I'm gonna cover up all of the ones that have the value of 25 cents, since I know a quarter is 25 cents. Same here with the dime, I'm going to cover up all of the values that say 10 cents, because I know a dime is 10 cents, and so on. Um, so we have those ones. And then the third type of card are these ones. These ones, it gives them the value and then they have to cover it up. So um, the value here is five cents and then I have to find all of the nickels that would equal five cents. And some of them have the front of the nickel and some of them have the back of a nickel. So this next activity center is called Zoo find and cover with coins. So for this activity center, you either need your own real set of coins, or it does come with a paper set of coins that you can print out if you need them. So um, what they do is that the child will take a card and then they'll use their coins to cover up. So um, the cards are all um, values of coins. So this says 10 cents, so they would have to find a dime and put it on there. This one says 25 cents. So I have to look through here and find a quarter and put it on there. And they're just gonna keep going until they've covered up their entire card. Here's a nickel. I'm gonna look for one that's one cent and another one that's one cent. So now my card is finished. So I can either go on to a new card, um, you know, or I would take off my money probably and then go on to a new card. So there are just a whole stack of these different zoo cards with different zoo animals and different amounts that the children have to find and cover up with their coins. So like I said, they, you can use real coins like I have here, um, or there are paper coins that come with the set. This next activity is called flower shop coin counting. And this one is a little bit more advanced because they're going to actually use cards and actually counting amounts. So what the kids are gonna do is you give them cards and flip them upside down. If <laughs> I can do this here. And really it's just like going to a flower shop. They're gonna be purchasing flowers at the flower shop. So they're gonna flip over a card and they're gonna put it on their mat on the first um, spot. And then they have to put their money here at the cashier to pay for it. So this um, flower says 15 cents. So they can use real coins or paper coins um, that are provided and they're going to find 15 cents. Here I have a dime and a nickel that makes 15 cents and they're gonna put it on their mat. If it matches and it's correct, they can go on. So I can flip over another card and put these coins back. This one says 20 cents. Now obviously I can make, make it any way I want. So I can use two dimes if I want or I can use a dime and two nickels um, or I could even use 20 pennies, whatever I wanted. But the kids have to be able to make the amount to pay for the um, flower. And then they just keep on going 
Here's all sorts of different flowers. Some of them have more than one flower, so the prices might be a little bit more. Obviously, this is not how much real flowers would cost. Um, I wish it was this cheap, but um, it gives the kids an idea of practicing counting out amounts to pay for something. This next activity is coin matching puzzles. And by the way, these little labels for your activities, they come with the download if you're interested so that you can keep your things organized. However, so getting into this one, these are puzzles and um, there are a couple of different types. So one type are these ones you see here where they're just matching up the coin to the name and to the value. So here's like the nickel, here's the penny, there's one for a dime and one for quarters as well. There's also matching puzzles where they're just counting by pennies, just counting by nickels, just counting by dimes, and just counting by quarters. So here's one that shows you where they just count by pennies. So you could take out just the ones where they're counting by pennies, if that's what you're working on, and do those one day. And then if you're working on counting by you know fives, then you could take out just the ones that count by nickels one day, um, however you wanted to do it. So this one shows you counting by um, pennies. And then there's also mixed coin amounts. So there's there's puzzles that mix up the coins. So this one uses dimes, nickels, and pennies to ma match an amount. So there's um, many different types and I can kind of show you my stack here that I have. Okay guys, this next activity is called coin roll and cover. So it comes with two different match. You can choose this one or this one. So it gives you two choices so that you can use this activity a couple of different times. All right, so what the kids are gonna do is once you choose your um, mat, there are different cards. So the little boy cards go with the first mat, and then the ones here with the little girl on them go with the second mat. Okay, so this is the first mat, so the boy cards okay, so are gonna go So what the kids are gonna mat. do is they're going to roll a die, and I got three. So I'm gonna look at my column with three, and I'm gonna count the amount in the very first box. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 20 cents. So I'm gonna look through my cards. I'm gonna find the card that's worth 20 cents and I'm going to cover up that spot. And I'm gonna roll again. This one has, I got a five. So I'm going to look at my five and I'm gonna count the very first square that's available. 25, 30, 31, 32 cents. I'm gonna find my card that's 32 cents and I'm gonna cover up, you get the idea. And they're just gonna keep on going until they have covered up their entire mat. Let's see what I get now. I got six, so I'm gonna count 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. I'm gonna find my matching card. I'm gonna cover it up. Now, if I roll a six again on my next roll, then I'll do my second box. So let's say I rolled six again. I would do 25, 50, 75, 76, 77. I'm gonna cover it up with the proper card. If I can find 77, there it is. Now if I rolled six again, I would just roll again. So let's say I rolled and I got a six again, but my sixes are all covered up. Um, I would just roll again. So I just have the kids roll again until they get one where it's not covered up. And they're just gonna continue on until they've used all their cards and covered up their entire mat. And then like I said, um, there is a second mat as well. I, I printed mine on the back just so I could you know, flip them over and reuse them. So there's a second mat so you could do it all over again with a second set of cards. Okay, this activity is called Roll to Fill the Bank. And what they're gonna do is they're going, you need a, a die and you need a dry erase marker if you laminate the activity. And it comes with this mat and these cards. Um, you also need some coins. I'm gonna use real coins that I have here, um, but you can also use paper coins that come with the activity. Okay, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna roll a die. Um, oh, I'm sorry, they're not gonna roll this die. Uh, what am I doing? You need this die. This die is the one that comes with the game. <laughs> okay, so um, I laminated mine and then I just tape it in all the different corners really good with some just good, you know, like packing tape so that it stays together. All right, so they're gonna roll this die, excuse me, and um, it, I rolled a penny, so I have to put a penny on my bank. It says I'm gonna repeat this three times. So I'm gonna roll again. I got another penny. And I'm gonna, oops, penny please. 
I'm gonna roll one more time, and I got another penny. So, then it says, record your money amount on a card. So you're gonna take a card, they're gonna take a dry erase marker, and they're gonna record their amount. I have three cents in my bank. Okay, then I can play again. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna roll. This time I got a quarter. Let's see if I can find myself a quarter. So, like I said, you're gonna do it three times. I got a penny and a penny. All right, so I have 25, 26, 27 cents. So I would record that on my card. Okay, so they can just continue on until they have completed all their cards. There's eight different cards that they can write amounts on. And on the die, there's pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. All right, guys, this next activity is one of my favorites. So they are going to feed these different animals some coins, okay? So we have a giraffe, and the giraffe has a one cent on him. We have a panda, he has a five cent on him. We have a whale, has 10 cents on him. And we have a horse, which has 25 cents on him. Now, it, it's not supposed to have these green lines on him, but my printer was acting funny, so I have some green lines on my uh, horse there. But um, when you print it out, you won't have those green lines. You can also print them out in black and white if you don't have a color printer. Everything comes in black and white as well. So anyways, um, what you do is you just attach them to any kind of cup you have. You can attach them to just cheapo, like, drinking cups um, that you throw out, you know, like those red ones. Or um, you can attach them to cups like these. These are just... Um, little cups that I have for sorting. So, okay, so I attached them to my cups and I just did it with tape so that I can take them off um, and I don't have it on there, you know, uh, forever. And then you just have to give your kids some coins or your students some coins. I'm going to take that coin out because that was a pretend coin. Um, these are all real coins I had left in here. So, give them some coins. Um, there are paper coins that come with the activity, or you can give them real coins, which is what I'm going to use here. And then they just start so sorting and feeding. So if it's a penny, it's going to go in my one cent. So I'm going to feed that one to the giraffe. If it is a nickel, like this one, I'm going to feed to the panda because he's got five cents on him. So basically they are just, as they're sorting, they're remembering the values of the different coins. Okay, so they just grab one and, whoop, and sort it into the correct value the correct animal and they're going to feed their different animals so it's it's practicing you know recognizing the coin and then remembering its value okay a penny is one cent it's going to go over here um, so they're just going to go through whatever coins you give them a nickel is five cents it's going to go here um, I found a quarter that's 25 cents that's going to go to my horse over here so you get the idea they just go through until they've sorted out all of their coins Okay, friends, we're on our very last activity. This one is coin clip cards. There's four different types of clip cards. So one set, let's start with this one. This set, they have to match the front of the coin to the back of the coin. And you can use um, little clips, to, like clothespin clips, to mark their answer. Or they can use manipulatives. I'm going to use these. Um, a lot of times we use these on a cookie sheet because they're magnetic, so um, they stick really well. And so the kids are just going to take a card. This is a quarter, and then they have to find the back of the quarter and match it up. So that's what these ones are. These ones are all the back of the coins. Whoops. Okay. The next set of cards matches to the value of each coin. So I see a nickel, and then I would just cover up the five cents for a nickel. Okay, and then the next set of cards is counting just by a certain coin. So these ones are just counting by pennies, and I have ones that just count by nickels. Okay, um, there's a bunch of them in there. And then I have ones that just count by dimes. So if you're just teaching children to count by tens, or if you're, they're just learning to count by fives or so on, these cards are good for that. So counting by dimes. And then, oh, that one was counting by pennies. And I do have some that count by just quarters somewhere. They probably got stuck in this stack here. Um, yeah, here they are. So just counting by quarters as well. And then this last stack is mixed coins. So we're counting by um, dimes, quarters, nickels, and pennies to find the amount. 
So for example, this one would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66 cents. And I would cover up my answer or I could clip it with a, um, a clothespin clip as well. All right, guys, those are all of the hands-on activities that I have for my Early Learners Math Curriculum Unit 10 on money. Now, you can um, get the entire curriculum. It's discounted a great deal from getting things individually. Um, I'll leave a link below to that. Or you can get just Unit 10 um, together, so just the unit on money. And it comes with not only all of these activities, but it comes with reference charts, it comes with teacher's guide, it comes with um, uh, inter oh, interactive worksheets, and I'm missing one, and teacher's guide, let's see, reference, oh, and um, an assessment test at the end. Assess the assessment test is usually two pages um, at the end of the unit that the kids can take. So it comes with all of that. Um, the interactive worksheets are a lot of fun too because they coincide with what they learned on these activities. So anyways, I'll leave links below to all that. You guys can check it out. Thank you so much for supporting me guys and watching this video. And if you like my math activities that I've been doing and this math curriculum that I've been showing you, just wait because I am super excited. I'm, when I'm done with this math curriculum, I'm going to be starting, um, my phonics curriculum and it is going to be a whole lot of fun and you're going to be able to um, get different activities in different ways and it's just going to be it's going to be a lot of fun so anyways if you're is still watching this thanks and thanks for listening to my uh rambling here and we'll see you next time guys bye